Welcome back. We're going to work in our closet today. We need to draw in our closet first. Uh, we have some closet rods and some closet shelves that we don't have placed. Our closet shelves are going to be one foot in width. So I want to switch to my uh, casework layer so I can uh, offset my walls in by one foot. O oh, enter down in by one foot all three of these so I can get my closet shelving they're currently not in the casework layer making the layer active doesn't mean that offset objects will go into that layer because I offset objects that were in the wall layer these new objects stay in the wall layer if you highlight all three of them, go to your Properties tab, you can change the layer from Walls to Casework. They should now be Cyan. Like I have mentioned earlier, we're going to have to move some of our text. Now the closet rod goes underneath the shelf, so they need to go back toward the wall. Those closet rods are going to be two inches inset from the outside of our shelves. So we want to offset each of these lines two inches back toward the wall. Hold shift and select your three new lines and change their layer to the closet rod layer. If you zoom in, you should see that they are dashed just a little bit. If they're not dashed, go to your layer properties, select closet rod, and make sure that your line type is hidden. On the Properties tab, make sure that your line type is by layer. If they're still not hidden, select everything you see in here. And again, make sure that line type is set to by layer. They should now be dashed a little bit. Select those three again. We want to space them out properly. We're going to change our line type scale. We're going to change it to be 1 48th of an inch. 1 divided by 48. I'm sorry, we want to change it to be 48 times as large as normal because our model space scale will be 1 48th of where we are. So highlight them, change your line type scale to the actual number of 48. And you'll see that they're dashed out quite a bit. Right, to dimension our closet, we need to find out where the center of this door is, and then we'll also talk about how far our closet shelf is. If I try to go back to my dimension layer and annotate dimension from the interior corner to my door's center mark, I don't have one. I can't reference where the center is. On this exterior door out here, we drew in this line so we knew where the center was. This door, we did our default four inch offset so we don't need to locate it. But because this one is not four inches from the wall, we're gonna need to dimension it. In order to find its center, I'm just gonna draw in a temporary line from endpoint to endpoint of my wall and then I can dimension from that midpoint of this new temporary line to the end point of my wall. I want this to be up 12 inches. I didn't offset anything. What I can do is mouse over this endpoint and use the extension as I come up and type in 12. Doesn't like me. Oh, there we go and I could be up 12 inches. Now go delete that reference line. For the next dimension, the one foot dimension we're gonna be placing in uh, for our closet shelf, I'm gonna want it to be 18 more. So dimension, it's really gonna go from the midpoint to the midpoint. And when I place it, 18 inches happens to be right on that midpoint again. So just go select this midpoint one more time and it'll place your value in at this height. Now we have some issues. I can't read those dimensions. 
we're going to move just the text location of them. I want to move that by selecting the dimension and choosing the grip point on my text, moving over to the left, but you'll notice that it's trying to jump. Turn off O snap, and now we can just move it over slightly. We're looking for my inches to just come beyond my shelf and for my three to not intersect my tick. When I move my, my one in location, I'm going to move it down and over, very similar to where my inches are not touching my shelf. I want to be about the same height that I am above my dimension here from my four to about the same height above my zero. Once that's done, if the word closet is intersected at all or doesn't look appropriate, just move it into location to where you can read the one, the closet, and the three foot four. Turn back on O snap before you're done. Z enter, A enter, and save your drawing.